Hey Collective, good morning. How are you guys doing this beautiful, beautiful Friday morning? Got some cards I want to come out. I'm not going to take them. I don't like the way they fell. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Let's see what the cards want to say. Holy Spirit, Divine, my beautiful, beautiful Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What are the messages for my beautiful soul tribe? Passion ignited. First card out. Some of you guys may be feeling your passion, getting your sexy back, I just heard. Um, some of you guys are feeling yourself. Some of you guys have a spark that's been ignited within you guys. Um, whether it's, you know, um, waking up, doing your makeup, doing your hair, taking more time for yourself. Whether it's, you know, um, pampering yourself, whether it's um, taking time to do whatever this passion is that you guys have within you. Good morning, Archangel Michael. Let's see. Yeah, some kind of light. Some kind of light. I hear, I heard Aquarius. Somebody's birthday could be in um, January. Um, something could be significant with the 19th. Some kind of light has been sparked within you. Um, some of you guys could be seeing orbs. Some of you guys, um, I'm seeing stars, they're aligning. What else do we need to see, Holy Spirit? Yeah, some kind of decision you guys made. A choice, a decision, some kind of movement created this. Some kind of decision created this. ignited in the collective let's get a little bit more detail right I feel like I want to get another energy deck give me one second guys oops sorry dun, dun. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So before we pull tarot. Some of you guys could have gotten some kind of download in your intuition. Um, some of you guys could have liberated yourself from someone, someplace, something, three, four, four on the clock. Um, some of you guys um, are meditating more, taking time for prayer, getting yourself in alignment. Connecting more. Something could have been shown to you either way, either in any of those fashions. Okay. Um, what is this passion that's going to be made here? What is this message, Spirit? If you haven't made a decision, you have a decision to make. And I feel like whatever decision you're going to make, you're going to make the right one because this passion ignited is here. Yeah past life activation some of you guys are seeing a past life that you guys had um something from also a past life that was not completed is going to be completed in this time in this life um it was meant for you to complete okay and i feel like that's where this light is coming from whatever decision you make some kind of light is going to be illuminated to this you're going to find your passion through this. 
if you haven't already made the decision. Some of you guys already have made the decision. This may have to do with your spiritual gifts. What else do we need to see here? One more card. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. One more card. Yeah. Yeah. I can never make this up. The sixth ray of devotion. Um, somebody needs to look up what the sixth ray is. I have it in my book, but I don't want to go to my book and grab it now. You can look it up. It's some kind of like you're going to be devoted to whatever this is. This past life activation is. It's a spiritual service. It could have to do with humanity, environmental, agriculture. Um, something is about to be ignited within you. And I feel like you're going to be devoted to whatever this is. Because you're you're going to be in service. Yeah, you guys could be seeing 1111 messages in the numbers. Okay. Um, something about a past life is about to be activated if it hasn't already been. Being in flow. I am in flow of the universe. I feel like this is happening because you're surrendering. Somebody is surrendering. Looking deeper. Yeah. Deep within me is a majestic radiance. And I feel like that radiance needs to shine. It needs to be ignited. That's what spirit is saying. Um, I remember when I was um, in the beginning of my journey collective... I came out of the shower and I just, there was a song that was playing on in the TV and I had my towel wrapped around me. And I, I remember crying that I dropped to my knees like that. And I remember waking up like two, two, three hours later in a, in a fetus position with the towel still wrapped around me. I was hugging myself. I knew spirit was healing me. Mm hmm Yeah, some kind of renewing of your life is about to happen. Somebody's about to walk into the releasing the clutter, um, vitality, um, filling their life, um, realizing that they are majestic, they are radiant, they are it, it lives within you. You're seeking it outside of you, and it's never been outside, it's always been within you. But I feel like somebody needed to see that, seeing the tr the truth. I stand in the light of truth. Um, this is beautiful collective. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah. You're breaking barriers. Somebody's a generational curse breaker. Somebody made somebody broke a barrier here. I'm expanding beyond limitation into joy and freedom. Somebody is no longer allowing people to trap them. They're surrendering. They're releasing. They're releasing the clutter. They're renewing their life. Um, they're letting go of what's not in service for them. That's a beautiful thing. When you sit here and you just allow the divine to lead, it may not look the way we wanted it to look. You know, we could be praying for 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 for. Him. For, for for this person in spirit, it's like, that's not the person for you. I'm going to bring you in somebody, but you need to release that person first. Temperance. You could resonate with being an earth angel. Archangel Michael is surrounding you. Heard that horn? Confirmation. This is something you were supposed to do in a past life. The world. You were supposed to do this in a past life, this spiritual service. And it's being activated within you now. Mm-hmm. I heard balancing out the scales. Um, there's some kind of new beginning, a renew. 
a new confirmation. This could have to do with the world. You could be on the World Wide Web, whatever the spiritual service is. I see this person holding the world in their hands. It's like, what, what door would you walk through? What door is going to give you more flow, allow you to, to break barriers, allow you to, to, to not keep you stuck? That's the door you need to walk through. What door is going to not make you dim your light to fit in with the crowd? That's the door you need to walk through. Expanding. Turn your back on what keeps you stuck, Spirit is saying. Anything that creates conflict has to go. It must go. Forgive those people and continue moving forward. You know? Um, forgive those places. Yeah, because this is who the fuck you are, baby. Empress. Okay, my beautiful empress. Be open to receive this light, this ignition. Release the clutter, empress. Sometimes the clutter could be within our heads, guys. The clutter could be in our heads. Mm-hmm. Be strong. Be resilient. Be majestic. Be courageous. Be um infinite. You know, be love. The strength card, that's Leo energy. When you think of people think of the Leo and they think like, oh my god, they're doing it. Leos are rule the heart. We are the heart. We are the sun. We feed the earth. Without the sun, there will be no plants, there'll be no oxygen, there'll be nothing. We give life. And I say we because I'm a Leo. Somebody's about to walk into service, their spiritual service, their North Node. Somebody's about to make a decision that's going to change their life. Empress, you are this Hierophant. You are this Earth Angel. You are this strength. You are who God says you are. And nobody could change that. You are majestic. You are radiant. And I feel like you started seeing that within yourself. You went deep, you dived deep, and you started seeing this within yourself. This is what I got for you guys. Whoever's resonating with this, get ready. Because I feel like you're about to walk into the most beautifulest um, season of your life. I feel like you're in flow right now. I feel like, um, yeah, you released whatever this shadow was, you released it. The ego, whatever that was that was stopping you from opening that door, I feel like you released it. That's beautiful, collective. You started speaking truth and love and life into yourself. Even when others don't do it for you, you started saying, you know what? I don't care. I love myself. God loves me. I can never make this up. The heart chakra. This is what I have for you guys. Love and light.